or document one. Hey, what is going on guys? Today I'm starting a new series where I pretty much tell stories that are interesting about my life. It's nothing like too out of the ordinary, but I'm just going to tell you a bunch of stories. This is my first story that I'm going to tell you guys. If you guys like it and would like to see more stories, then comment, like, and subscribe, and share your opinions about my story. But anyways, today's story isn't going to be funny or anything. Today's story is going to be actually quite spooky. Because I got a spooky story that happened to me about a year ago. And I don't know what to think of it. So, if you guys have an opinion on it, please comment below what you think about it. But anyways, let's begin. So, about a year ago, I went to Adirondacks, which is in my state. We're actually, like, yeah. So, we went to Adirondacks, and it's a two-hour drive. And we rent a cabin, and we brought a few family members along, like, that are family members, but not living in the household currently. So, we brought them, and we rented this big cabin, and when we got there, it's like, 8, 9 o'clock, maybe. So, we wouldn't have time to do anything, so we just sort of, like, made a few sandwiches and watched a movie. Then we all went to bed, but... The first night I was there, I woke up at like 2 o'clock, and I didn't know it was 2 o'clock until I checked my phone, but it's 2 o'clock and it's all silent and stuff. I didn't know what to think about it, so I just like played on my phone until it was like 3 and I went back to sleep. But that's all that happened the first night, besides my mom saying that, did you open my door last night because... When we woke up, she apparently she said that her door opened by itself, and I thought it was just like my dog Dallas. We brought him along, but it wasn't, and something must have happened. We didn't think much of it, but the second night, I went back to sleep. I mean, like, after the long day that we had of exploring and going to a beach that's by us. And I woke up at 2 o'clock in the morning again. And I decided to go to my, go to the bathroom. Because I really need to go to the bathroom. So I got up to go to the bathroom. I turned the light on. My mom's door was closed. And I decided to do my business. And I opened the door and after I, like went to the bathroom and I saw that our door was open and I didn't think much of it so I just went back to sleep you know my mom commented on it again stuff like that nothing really out of the ordinary I mean it could have been anything but <clears throat> the third day we went to water safari and it was pretty fun we had we went there and stayed there till like 6 o'clock in the afternoon. Pretty fun indeed. But I woke up at 2 o'clock. Well, not 2. I actually woke up at like 12 because one of our uncles decided to tag along too. But he said he'd meet us there at like halfway through our trip because we're spending five days there. Because we rarely go on vacations. And I wake up and... Our dog Dallas is barking, and that's normal for a dog. And Kevin, our uncle Kevin, walks in, and he's all like, Hey, everybody, and everyone wakes up, and they get all angry and cranky because, you know, who wouldn't be cranky waking up at 12 o'clock to barking dog? But, anyways, after that, I woke up as well, and... I saw, like, a little dog figure, like, walk by my bed, so I reached out to pet it, thinking it's Dallas, but it, like, just walked past me out the door, because I thought that my grandma that tagged along, too, was out there, and, like, five minutes later, I look over, and Dallas is on the, like, the couch, not, like, five minutes, but, like, a minute later, Dallas, our dog, is on the couch that's out in the living room 
of the cabin we rented and I was like what but it didn't bug me too much I mean it could have been actually Dallas and he entered through a different door but it was just strange but the fourth day we went to sleep and nothing really happened out of the particularly odd that day I mean I woke up at 2 again and went back to sleep at 3 and we went to a beach and stuff but nothing out of the ordinary and then we the fifth day same thing went to a beach then we all packed up and left to go home after a long vacation but ever since we went on that trip I've been waking up at 2 3 in the morning which is very odd could be just a coincidence, but I keep on waking up in my own house at 2, 3 in the morning. I mean, it doesn't happen anymore, thank God, but, like, before December, no, before January, it kept on happening, where I just, like, wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning. And I've also had these weird, strange hallucinations, where I, like, see, like, I'd be going downstairs, in my own house like eat breakfast get ready for school and whatnot I had to look over in my mom's room and there's like a creepy foot just like walking and it wasn't my mom because she always leaves at like five to go to work and my sister's usually asleep until like seven so that's pretty weird and I wake up at six but I've also been like somewhat hearing things like, sometimes I'd, like, wake up and I'd hear, like, a whistling or something and coming from my closet, a very small one. But, other than that, nothing really happens. Like, the only creepy, creepy thing that I've run into, like, the scariest thing that happened after this trip was, I looked, I was sleeping and I woke up and I looked over the staircase and I see something that looks just like my mom walk down the stairs. It's the weekend, so it's okay to like wake up at 10. And I was like, oh, maybe she woke up and she's going down to watch her crime shows or whatever. And she walks down the stairs, I hear, stairs, I hear the creaking and everything. And then I look over and my mom's just still sleeping. Like I get up and I look into her room and mom's still sleeping. My sister's still sleeping, and my stepdad, he's out on, like, work because he got called in. So, that's my spooky, scary story. Tell me what you guys think of it in the description. If you guys want more stories, I'll be happy to tell them. And, yeah. Oh, yeah, and also, thank you guys so much for 70 subscribers. I really appreciate that. It shows me that you guys support what I'm doing, videos I'm making, so happy about that. So, this is PCX Fox signing out.